Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown, and in the process of tearing down, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your RAM, upgrade your solid state drive or your hard drive, maybe change the battery, change the CPU fan. So those are the things that I'll be explaining in the video and walk you through step by step on how to do so. All right, so let's begin. The first thing is to identify if you have the same laptop as mine. This is Lenovo. And if you turn it around, you can see that the in the back here, it says Lenovo IdealPad 3. The model for this is 15-something L05. I can't really see that thing has been, it's not clear at all. All right, so the model name could be 81WE. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you like to do is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove all the screws and the back cover. Right, just to identify the bottom four screws here are shorter and the rest of other screws in the middle and the top is a lot longer okay those are the top and the middle screw and the rest are the bottom screws once you have removed all the screws we're trying to pry open the back cover here you can get a metal prying tool or a plastic prying tool the best way to do is to go ahead and get yourself at the very corner. Usually the corner is the weakest point. As you can see, I have stuck underneath that plastic cover. I do not like to use the metal to run through the plastic. That way you may be able to scratch or damage the cover. I like to use the plastic prying tool and that way you can just run ac across the, uh, the plastic cover. and try not to stick it too deep as you can see that the computer has a very little room for you to play with so right about this much right about this much of plastic in between the cover and you can just slide it and and separate them apart all right once you have removed the back cover you can see your entire computer here is being exposed this is your CPU fan. It spins and exhausts the hot air away from the computer. So the CPU with the copper heat sink travel the uh, the heat on the heat sink and the CPU fan cools it down by exhausting the hot air. Here is your DDR4 RAM. For you to upgrade the RAM, you can just push the two clipper on the side, push it on both sides. And you can slide the RAM at 45 degree angle and get yourself a replacement or upgrade. So this one is running on 4 gigabytes RAM. You can actually upgrade to 8 or 16 gigabytes. If you're not sure what to buy in terms of the battery, the RAM or the hard drive, check out the link in the description below. I'll link them to Amazon or eBay where you can buy the replacement part as well as the tool for this upgrade okay the next step i like to talk about is the battery so there are three batteries uh sorry there are three screws holding onto the battery once you have removed them using a Phillips screwdriver, now you can actually slide the connector down towards your body. Just slide it down. 
there's no clipper or anything that holds on to the connector you just got to pull it down gently to remove the battery now if the battery is flat like this and it's holding the charge that means the battery is healthy but if your touch pad the trackpad is not clickable and you can see the battery has a lump or swollen on both sides that means you have a bad battery or maybe it doesn't hold a charge all those are indicators that you're having a bad battery now if you want to find a replacement for it go look it up here it says l16 c2 pb1 all right again if you're not sure where to buy the battery go check out the link in the description below this is your CMOS battery. If you want to reset your BIOS, you can just pull the connector down and you can reset the CMOS battery. This is your keyboard. Flip the connector up and slide the keyboard down. Oh, sorry, the flex cable down. Okay. This is your touchpad. Open up the clipper, slide the flex cable down. This is your hard drive. So open up the clipper and slide that cable down as well. Now the hard drive is the regular spinning drive. Once you have removed the two screws, now you can remove your hard drive entirely. Now this is the regular hard drive, it spins, and you can actually replace them with another solid state drive. So if you want to upgrade your computer, you can get yourself a solid state drive, the 2.5 inch, you swap it over, make sure you transfer the SATA controller to your solid state drive, okay, like so. Once you transfer, remove the screw, change out the hard drive, and now you would have a faster hard drive and better performance rather than the regular hard drive here. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next process. I like to talk about the Wi-Fi. As you can see that the gray cable is on the top, the black one is at the bottom. What you want to do is you just simply by lifting up the Wi-Fi cable, that's how you remove the antenna. Now remove one of the screw and you can slide the Wi-Fi NIC card to your left. That's how you remove it. All right, let's go ahead and work on the, uh, the CPU fan. You want to take this opportunity to clean out your fan or maybe a, a dust it out because if the fan is dirty then you would have a, a hard time cooling off the fan so uh, the next step is make sure you slide a connector to your left I'm using the method push and pull I'm pushing using the plastic prying tool to get a good grip and the leverage at the same time I'm pulling it to the left Okay, that's how you remove the CPU fan connector. Remove the three screws. Now the CPU fan can just come right out. And you just want to untangle the Wi-Fi cable right here. Now the entire CPU fan can just come out. As you can see, it's quite dirty right here. What you can do is to go ahead and clean it up and make sure you have a good ventilation for your CPU. All right, so the next step I'd like to talk about by removing the heatsink. This is your heatsink attached to the motherboard. Okay, once you have removed that, you can see this is the thermal paste. And if the thermal paste is all dried up or your CPU always run 
on a high speed or like the high temperature what you want to do is you want to get yourself these alcohol wipes get one of these alcohol wipes wipe it down clean out all the dry thermal paste and get yourself uh, a new thermal paste compound and then squeeze it and apply the same amount like how original looks like not really tiny you do not want to put so tiny like a a size grain of a rice that is too little in my opinion and as you can see that the original manufacturer applied quite generous on the thermal paste so you might want to do the same amount of thermal paste when you applied it all right so the next process and what you want to do is go ahead and open up the lcd screen connector flip the connector up and slide the screen to your uh, away from your body so slide it towards away from your body and now we want to go ahead and remove the motherboard so make sure all the cable is disconnected and not attached to the motherboard slide it to your left and let's go ahead and remove it so that screw right there is actually a uh, warranty seal screw from the manufacturer once you remove that it is no longer under warranty Okay, once you have all the screws removed, you can simply by lifting up the motherboard. Here you can see the product number on the motherboard is 5B21B36562, I think that is the number. Okay, so this is manufacturer in year 2020 and that's how the motherboard looks like. All right. So let's talk about the keyboard. If you're planning to replace the keyboard, uh, unfortunately, this keyboard is non-replaceable. You can see the keyboard is mounted onto the, um, together with the, the, the base on the uh, palm rest. So in other words, if you want to change the keyboard or problem with the keyboard, you would have to remove the two screws. All right, open up the hinge and remove the entire keyboard on this part here okay that is the unfortunate the only way to do it all right so if you um i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope that you enjoyed the teardown process that i explained here in this lenovo laptop and if you find this video is very helpful please go ahead and give me a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't feel free to do so um, i do read your comments Okay, remember that I do read your comments. And um, if you have any question regarding about computer stuff, comment below. Write it to me. I'd like to hear from you and I'll answer any of your computer questions. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the video. And um, until next time, take care now. Bye.